In uh, this video, I'll look at districting. So finding the service area or the opulent or hinterland or whatever you want to call it. So basically, what is the natural area where you will go to the closest capital or supermarket or whatever. So if we are looking at QGIS, um, we have this map, which basically already does it. So this was where I earlier calculated the, the distance to nearest hub point, which has then calculated what is the nearest capital, um, and then can also calculate the distance. So I've just removed the filter compared to an earlier video. So now we have them associated with their nearest town. This, uh, the basic, the simplest of the districting tools in uh, QGIS is called Wariani polygons. So some software also know them as seasonal polygons. Um, Tiesner was an American mathematician that reinvented what Volyani had invented some years earlier. So, therefore, the two names. Um, in um, Kyrgyz, this type Volyani, and we have the Volyani polygons. So, it's really a very simple tool. It just takes in a center point. So, this will be our capitals. And uh, this can be used to, to buffering if you wanted throughout the ex outside the extent. So we wanted to make sure that we have data, let's say 5% uh, outside would probably be appropriate. And this doesn't, it doesn't change the delineation inside. It's just by default, it will normally only cut um the data set to the extent but and but sometimes you want it just to go a bit further out to the extent of course mathematically they can go for infinity so um cover the two and uh you get this error message which again is just the same error message same problem as when we did the distance matrix so we'll uh run the tool again on our single point capitals and again with our five percent of a buff and then run the two so as you can see this is really really quick and uh, close it and uh, go for our layers and drag it up here so um, these are the Wuliani polygons just see that I want them under the capitals. And um, maybe we should also drag countries up and just make them semi transparent. So, so this only have a borderline. So, uh, and something else than black. Uh, good borderline color and uh, so hopefully we now can so now we have the capitals and the Voyani underneath and I can um change the colors of the my Voyani so they reflect which capital they uh are associated with so the name so we ha here have the area that is associated with Copenhagen, Berlin, Oslo, Stockholm, and so on. So and of course these would match pretty neatly of our hub distances so you can see in this case it might be difficult to see here because by accident Oslo has also a color which is very close to uh, Copenhagen so I'll just change the Oslo color to 
like that. Um, so here we can see that these Copenhagen points that are closest to Copenhagen according to the nearest hub point calculation also fall inside our Vulliani polygon. So we shouldn't find anywhere where there isn't a match between the color within the Vulliani and the Vulliani uh, shape itself. So basically, if um, you need any of these uh, tools where you want to calculate what is a natural hinterland for supermarket or service area for hospital or school or whatever, then Vulliani is often the trick to use and it's compared to doing a nearest hop distance calculation it's tr immensely much quicker so i hope that you will find a uh, use for using the Voliani tool because it is a nice tool and i hope you found this video useful so and hope to see you in another video bye